Thank you. My name is Dr. Kirago. I am a gynecologist and it's my great pleasure to share with you on this prevalent problem of infertility. When is it that you say you have an infertility problem? Generally, we do not consider a couple to have an infertility problem unless they have made concerted effort to sire a child for one year or more. This is of critical importance because there are so many people seeking consultations and uh, living with a lot of stress because they think they have a problem that does not exist. You need to have attempted to sire a child for at least a year before you determine that it's time to go and visit a clinician for assistance. The inability to have a child can be due to contributions by the male partner, but also can be due to factors affecting the woman. And sometimes both of them have a problem. So it is only by there are investigations that you can be able to pin down on where the problem lies. Of course, when we talk about male infertility, it is common knowledge that factors like excessive alcohol intake, uh, factors like um, excessive smoking, are important modern day contributions to the infertility problem among males. Uh, over and above that, there are men who are born with inability to generate or to make sperms in their testes. This is referred to as primary infertility of the man, somebody who has got total inability to make sperm from the point of birth. Then you have people who acquire infertility, men who acquire the infertility problem in the course of time. And the common contributors to uh, this acquired infertility in men include, for instance, sexually transmitted diseases. The commonest known to the public might be gonorrhea uh, and similar infections. Sometimes when you treated for cancer, which these days is rampant, the medications we use and some of the treatment modalities can lead to uh, male infertility. Some of the diseases that we acquire in childhood, particularly mumps, can lead to permanent infertility in later years by affecting the testicles of the, of the male child. I would like also to state that male infertility is as common and as important a, a contributor to infertility as the female contribution is. We think up to 40% of all infertility is due to male contribution. Mm -hmm.